Well, hi everyone. Hope you all are doing well. I want to say hi to those of you in the local user group and those of you who are listening to us, watching us on Vimeo website and on YouTube here in the U.S. and around the world. We appreciate you dropping in. Well, you know, if you're out taking pictures, sometimes Mother Nature just isn't very cooperative. And uh, we, we get our images back and we think, well, that would be a, a great shot if the sky were not all hazy or overcast. If it were a nice, bright blue sky with some pretty fluffy clouds in it. And um, if you think that's going to uh, really make your shot, and it very well could, let's talk about sky replacement. And uh, we're going to talk about a couple of techniques today. Actually, we're just going to demonstrate one and talk about the other. So let's get right to it here. Now, traditionally, for the last few years, uh, replacing skies digitally, what we do, you would try to select uh, from your uh, background image everything that you wanted up here in the sky and make that as a selection, such as with your magic wand tool. Or quick selection brush. And if you had um, uh, a lot of hard edges, uh, you know, like a cityscape uh, somewhere up where you have a lot of jagged mountains, uh, this uh, selection uh, tech uh, process is um, not too difficult, but it gets a little trickier when you have these little fine things and you have to go up into. Um, some additional things to to feather it or contract or expand it, and so that is uh, can get quite time consuming. And then once you have finished replacing your sky, uh, there's maybe some more cloning and that sort of thing to do. Uh, but anyway, what you would do is after you get everything selected, then you just um, uh, open up a nice sky image that you have uh, in your image bank and um, select all of it copy it into memory and then paste into selection from the edit menu uh, into your background layer. And we're going to talk about another one here that I like. Uh, I think it's even better, faster, easier to do. Now I'm going to just take my sky image and this is one that I took about a year ago and, and just walked outside and said, wow the sky looked great. I wasn't photographing that day, but I did go out and take some snaps of the sky and this cloud pattern because I really liked it. So here we go. We're just going to drag this into or on top of the background layer. Uh, press letter V. It's your, your move tool there. Now this was taken as a, um, a landscape uh, format, so there's a lot more of this sky here and you see your bounding box and your handle so you can do some positioning. Actually I'm going to uh, grab this handle and uh, stretch these uh, clouds out just a little more. And then I'm going to reposition it. Uh, we, s we see where our hor horizon line is there. We're going to drop this just below it and click OK. And then go over to your blend mode which is uh, by default normal and that actually isn't a blend mode. Uh, strictly speaking because there's no interaction between the pixels of these two layers at normal. But we're going to change that now to multiply. Alright, and so now we're getting a very dramatic sky here. Uh, there's a couple of problems. One obviously is that uh, the sky pattern is overlaid on top of the building uh, and uh, then you have this uh, hard demarcation line between the two layers. So let's fix that first. And also, uh, anytime you use this technique, if you, uh, I'm sure you've noticed, it, if you look at a sky, it's not uniform in terms of its uh, density from, uh, you know, from the horizon line all the way up to the zenith of the sky. You have uh, a gradation here, and to make this look uh, more realistic, we're going to add that gradation with the gradient tool highlight that layer. First thing you want to do is make sure that your foreground color is set to white, get your gradient tool, and from the gradient picker choose the uh, second one which is called foreground to transparent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin uh, just to draw an upward stroke from just below 
uh, where the demarcation line is up to uh, above the level of uh, the tallest tree here and now we have a much more realistic looking sky it's really blended in nicely here and uh, uh, now we can go on and fix this. And you can do this in a couple of different ways. You can uh, leave your foreground to white and get a, uh, a brush and brush over it in white or you can just simply get your eraser tool and uh, since this is uh, I'm going to come in here and make sure that we have that all blended in nicely and then I'll go up uh, to my brushes and f instead of the default ones I'm going to get a square brush uh, like this use my uh, left and right brackets to enlarge that brush and then I'm just going to simply erase the top layer here make that a little bit bigger and go faster it's going to take a great deal of time because you understand what I'm doing here. I like these big hard edged square brushes for doing sides of buildings. And if you need a perfectly straight line, if you remember from a previous tutorial, you can click at the top, hold the shift key, and you can, you'll erase in a, in a straight line. Click go down here shift click click shift yeah you're, you've erased in a straight line so here's our after there's before here's after a much more dramatic sky and if it's a little bit too intense which I believe it is here you have uh, that sky on its own layer and so we can just bring down the opacity of it that looks a little more natural and then uh, as you may notice this is a frozen uh, lake here and the uh, tonal values are a bit different than the sky and uh, it doesn't uh, uh, mesh very well so what I'm going to do is add an adjustment layer and I'll pick hue and saturation Take that away get my hue slider over here and I'm just going to start tweaking it over a little bit more to almost a turquoisey type sky and now I believe it's quite a bit more realistic so play around with this uh, let me know how you get along with it I think you'll enjoy it it's it's a really fast and easy way to take care of featureless skies and improve images have a great week and we'll talk again take care